Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix live activities not working in iOS 16 or later. One of my favorite iOS 16 features is live activities. What makes it so handy is the ability to let you keep a track of real-time updates right from the lock screen. Whether you want to keep an eye on the ongoing cricket match with the live scores or how far away Uber is from picking you up, it's got you fully covered. Unfortunately, live activities is not working in iOS 16 for some iPhone owners. If you also find it ill-functioning, check out these 12 workable tips to fix live activities issues on your iPhone. That said, let's jump right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First off, I would recommend you to make sure that your iPhone is running iOS 16.1 or later. The very first thing that you should do is to ensure that your device is running iOS 16.1 or later. Yeah, you got that right. Apple has introduced live activities in iOS 16.1. Therefore, ensure that your device is running the required version of iOS. After that, I would recommend you to ensure that the app supports live activities. Another important thing that you should do without fail is to ensure that the app supports live activities. Even though Apple has already released Live Activities API for developers, it's going to take some time for the full-on implementation. Then after, I would suggest you to turn on off airplane mode. It's worth pointing out that Live Activities requires a strong and stable internet connection to work perfectly. Therefore, ensure that your internet connection is up to the mark. Swipe down from the top right corner of the screen or swipe up from the bottom of the screen to bring up the control center. Then tap on the airplane mode icon to turn it on. After waiting for a few seconds, tap on the airplane mode icon to turn it off. Now check out if live activities has started to work normally. If it has, you have gotten the better of the problem. Next up, I would suggest you to disable the low power mode while you are using live activities. When enabled, low power mode automatically reduces the background activities until you fully charge your device. So if you have enabled this power saving mode, make sure to turn it off as it might be coming in the way. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on battery. After that, turn off the toggle located right next to low power mode. After that, I would suggest you to turn off on live activities. At times, all you need to do to fix an issue is to just turn it off on. Considering how simple yet effective this tip is, there is no harm in giving it a try as well. To do so, head over to the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on face ID and passcode or touch ID and passcode, then turn off the toggle for live activities. After that, restart your iPhone. Once your iPhone has rebooted, go back to the settings app and then turn on the toggle for live activities. Next up, I would suggest you to hard reset your iPhone. Hard reset doesn't need any introduction, does it? For those unfamiliar, it is well known for fixing common iOS issues. Therefore, you should give it a try as well. To do so, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. After that, you have to hold down the side button until you see the Apple logo on the screen. After that, I would suggest you to allow the app to run in the background. While it may not seem to be a direct solution per se, you should allow the apps to run in the background without any hindrance. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone then tap on General. After that, tap on Background App Refresh. Then turn on the toggle for Background App Refresh. Now ensure that the switch next to the app is turned on. Next up, allow the apps to use your location data without any hindrance. Certain apps like Uber and Google Maps require access to uninterrupted location data to work properly. Therefore, make sure the apps can use your location data without any restrictions. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on Privacy and Security. After that, tap on Location Services. 
and then find the app and select while using. After that, I would suggest you to update the apps. Outdated apps tend to create a hell lot of issues, therefore, make sure you have updated the apps. To do so, open the App Store and then tap on your profile. Now find the app and then hit Update right next to it. It's worth pointing out that there is also an option to update all apps at once. To do so, simply tap on Update All and you are all set. Next up, I would suggest you to delete and reinstall the problematic apps. Believe it or not, you can resolve many app-related issues by just deleting and reinstalling the problematic apps. Thus, make sure to give it a go as well. Simply touch and hold onto an app icon and then select Remove App in the pop-up menu. After that, hit Delete App and confirm the action. Next up, I will suggest you to update the software on your iPhone. As the latest iteration of iOS is full of bugs, it wouldn't be wrong to put the entire blame on the software bug. Therefore, try updating the software on your iPhone. To do so, open the Settings app on your iPhone, then tap on General. After that, tap on Software Update, then download and install the latest iteration of iOS as usual. Finally, I would suggest you to factory reset your iPhone. If none of the tips has worked in fixing the live activity issues on your iPhone, I would recommend you to go for factory reset. Bear in mind that it will clean up the entire existing settings. However, all your media and data will remain safe. To do so, open the settings app on your iPhone, then tap on general. After that, scroll down to the bottom and tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then tap on Reset. Then tap on Reset All Settings and confirm the action. That's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix live activities not working in iOS 16 or later. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.